Um, I thought that before we start having this conversation, I'd like to share a little bit of my own personal journey when it when it comes to issues about HRT. It's a personal decision. There's a lot of sound going on at the moment when it comes to HRT, whether we should use HRT, what about the safety issues with HRT and so on. But I think it's a very personal decision for every single woman. You have to, you can't follow the crowd. You have to consider your own specific situation and then have a conversation with your own doctor. So I found myself um, in this same situation that many women will find themselves with developing symptoms that you know we put down to menopause or perimenopause I think those are sort of the main things that happened and I started thinking uh, about perimenopause and asking myself about the, uh, you know the HRT question as it related to me as a person and the decision to use HRT wasn't something I would take very lightly and mainly because of my family history I come from a background where I have a close family member my mom who suffered from breast cancer there is a history of um, heart disease in the family as well um so you know there were concerns that i had and again when i speak to women who share the same issues i sort of look at my own experience and use that to relate to them about how to go on in their own journey so i was also even with my background because um, there is so much information out there and you want to find the information that is best suited to yourself. Of course, anybody you ask will first talk to you about breast cancer. So there's breast cancer, um, there is developing blood clots or deep vein thrombosis or DVT or PE, pulmonary embolism, as some of you might know, then the risk of heart disease and um, the risk of womb cancer. I think context is really important and don't, I don't want to downplay um, the risk of breast cancer and we're not going to be blasé and ignore we're not going to be ignorant we're going to look at the facts and what exactly are they saying to us and each one of us has a different risk um, of breast cancer and so we have to make that judgment with our specific risks with our weight with our lifestyle our habits with whether we're active and going to the gym regularly with whether we're not really a gym person you know we're, we're overweight with whether um, we've had kids whether we had kids and we breastfed you know all the sort of risks that I talked about at the beginning okay so vaginal estrogen uh, this is estrogen only but this is vaginal estrogen it doesn't increase the chance of getting breast cancer in a woman who's never had cancer um, so it is for discussion usually with a specialist like your cancer doctor the oncologist whether to use vaginal estrogen come across patients who have had cancer and have had vaginal estrogen treatment but the conversation has always been with the oncologist to look at what type of cancer that they had whether it had to do with hormones what are the other risk factors see hrt is usually not recommended if a woman has a high risk of breast cancer except for women who have the BRCA2 BRCA1 or BRCA2 gene mutations who have who have already had their ovaries removed to prevent cancer and for those specific groups hrt can be used to manage their symptoms until they're 50 and that will not increase their risk of breast cancer but after the age of 50 changes lifestyle changes and non-hormonal treatments are usually recommended so again conversation it is not a one cap fits all right so if somebody says to me oh is it okay for me to use hrt i've got this that or the other i would be so interested in having a lot of background information and that is why i usually just recommend people to you know have sit down and have a conversation with your own doctor